Welcome back guys and welcome to the final episode. Today I'm gonna finish this. As always, my name is Lars and this is The Building of Tear. Sending, sending, my favorite thing. It's finally time to sending, sending! And that was my impression of an alternative version of me that actually love sending. And that is a serial killer because the two things cannot be separated. This morning I already started and I sent this thing up to um, 80 grits. So a lot curse for now. But I now need to send this at least today at 120, and um, I also repair some of the problem that some of the um, split. These are way too small, right? Oh wait. Oh yes. Okay, a little small, but not too much. So, I will continue to send this today and I also repair some of the... Um, uh, how can I say it? The, the food plate that I had, especially here, this, this was a bit of a problem. Now, I didn't repair every single point because there are a uh, hole in the, um, in the USB, which is, it is normal, it's, it's USB. And I don't want to repair them entirely. I want to leave them uh, like on this part because I like the um, how loud well this it looks when it's not perfect. I want to make that as um, a strong point, not something that I need to fix. Um, so I will leave this a, a good part of this just as is, and I will just send this right now. The good thing is that I have some big hole like right here that you cannot see because <laughs> the, it's chaos, the USB is chaos, so I'm taking advantage of that. And um, yeah, let's start to send. For this I will use the orbital sender and uh, this sending block, this now sending block, this is became my ofi official sending block and the stick of power which is a stick with sandpaper. Now I want to put the finish on. Nice. I will come back in ten minutes and I will remove the excess 
and probably later on actually I will come back here and make a second coat. It's been a couple of days and I made some progress. Off camera I put the finishing, uh, the shielding paint on the guitar and I also made this. If you're wondering why I have again the template of the pickup cavity, of the control cavity, it's because this is actually the smaller version. I still have to make the control cavity, the pickup cavity plate. Problem with using OSB is that very is very fragile at the edge. And my idea is to use this to make a template to make uh, the control cavity, the internal part from USB and then I will use this which is just a piece of um, polywood that I had uh, I need to glue a couple of pieces and I will make a second one with this and then using this I will hollow the center and then I will glue the piece of OSB in the internal part. I hope that this will work. starting to be a little bit late but I do have the internal part I do have the external part and now I can put this together now the external part as you can see broke but it's a good news I can put this in place and I can clamp it super hard so I can put this and clamp it and really squeeze any excess glue so now what I will do is just put the glue on this Now I can clamp this Okay, I will let this time to cure and tomorrow I will probably thickness that and clean it. That time that I went to my local butcher and I asked him if he has a bone, which, stay calm, I know what you're thinking, but there's no joke in Italian. A cuccia. Anyway, it was really perplexed. And I can't understand the reason. Now, I have a piece of bone that I will turn into an ant. I need to flat this edge, flat this one, and then I need to make it of the right shape.
I have the cover ready and looks beautiful actually. I also put a coat of uh, uh, shielding paint and um, I do like the result. I put the magnets on, this thing looks pretty solid. And the magnets that I purchased this time are really powerful, actually. And um, the back cavity is, the back cover is done. Uh, now, I need to do uh, two things, really, still. One is the front leveling and crown, and the other one is R, the knobs, because I still need some knobs, and I have an idea for that. And I think that I will do these two things alongside mounting too because I think that I'm done with this and I want to see this guitar coming together so I think that I will do this in the final montage and if you know me long enough you know what song is about to be played let's go This guitar needs a couple of notes. With this, tier is finally finished, and I'm quite happy with the result. I love how this guitar turned out to be actually one of my best builds so far, especially in terms of the look and the engraving, and there are a lot of things that I want to say about the entire build, but uh, in the interest of not making this video half an hour long, I think that I will end it here. And after I will publish the super edit in two weeks, I will put another video where I will talk extensively about the build and I will make a sound demo of the guitar this time. Uh, don't expect anything fancy because I'm already not a good guitar player. I'm actually no guitar player and the A string is a little bit more challenging, so just a simple demo will be but um, you will hear there how the guitar sounds and we will talk about everything that went on the build <sighs> it's actually quite a relief to finish such a big project for me i will never never again start a build without proper planning but the guitar turned out very very well and as always at the end of this build i want to thank you my coffee supporter 
and a subscriber then we are finally at 300 and I can't wait to see the number grow because I'm I'm having fun in this YouTube channel and I love what I do and I want to do it more I really want to do it more so if you can do me a great favor please like the video subscribe share it if you will of course but just the like and the subscribe and the comment are very very important so i don't really know how to end this video apart from saying thank you thank you for uh, the support so far and i will see you in two weeks for the super edit and um, until then bye